What's up guys? Today is Wednesday, September 18th. Wednesday means new comic book day. New comic book day means new comic book call video. As always, I went down to Infinity Flux here in Chattanooga, Tennessee for a slightly smaller size stack of books, but some really cool extra goodies. But let's take a look at these books first, starting with Marvel. I just got one Marvel book this week. This is Avengers number 18. This one was really cool. Hyperion hurtling towards Earth, intending to crack it in half, and the Avengers have to stop him. This one was really good. And then for DC, we've got this Absolute Power Super Sun one shot. This is a tie into the Absolute Power storyline, focusing on John Kent and him trying to reconcile with what he did while he was under the control of the Brainiac Queen. Really good artwork in this. This is a really good issue. And then we've got Batman Superman World's Finest number 31, the start of a new story arc with Batman and Superman going up against Eclipso. So I can't wait to jump into that one. Got the Crisis on Infinite Earths number six facsimile with a nice foil cover. We've just been trying to get all these. They look great. And then we've got Superman number 18. This is the last issue of Superman that ties into the Absolute Power storyline before we get into the all-in stuff next month. And this one was really, really good. Some great art, some great action, a really great moment between Superman and Lois. This one had it all. And as I was putting all this together, I realized I forgot to get Wonder Woman number 13, which is another Absolute Power tie-in. That book was great as well, so I'm going to get that when I go back to my shop later. Uh, as for Image, we've got Destro number 4. This is the next to last issue of the Destro series. I think Scarlet has one more as well. And then we're going to get into G.I. Joe in November, so can't wait to see how this all shakes out. And then King Spawn number 37. You guys know I'm behind on this, but this cover is really cool. So in addition to all of that stuff, my shop is also having a big back issue sale starting today, running through Friday. So when I went there earlier, I had to look through some back issues, right? And I found a big old stack of Wizard magazines. And I was so happy to find these because I used to have all of them, except for the first four issues. And years and years ago, I threw them all away. And I'm so upset with myself for doing that. So I try to get Wizard magazine anytime I can find it. So I picked up number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 19, 20 here, 22, 23, and 24. So this is going to go into the Wizard Magazine collection. I do still have some of my originals but uh, not very many anymore. So super happy to find this giant stack. I'm gonna try to figure out some kind of content to make around this at some point. But the fun doesn't stop there. I got a few extra goodies as well, including Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees, the trade paperback collecting, was it a five or a six issue series? This series is awesome. I was reading it as it came out, but I did not buy the single issues because I was waiting for this and it's finally here. This is so good. These cutesy little animal creatures living in a small town being buddies oh and also there's a bunch of well this kind of stuff so this is a really really cool so everybody needs to check this out it's so good and i got two big boy books the first one is the uh danny catch ghost rider omnibus volume one this collects numbers uh one through 24 of the ghost rider series it started in 1990 that ran all through the 90s. This is my Ghost Rider. This is the Ghost Rider I grew up reading, so I can't wait to dive back into this. I've got the Epic Collection over there, but this has more, so I'm gonna swap those out. And what I've been super excited about for a long time, this is the Superman, the Triangle Era Omnibus Volume 1, collecting a whole bunch of different books from the Triangle Era. That is the era of Superman books, where they put a little triangle on the cover with a number so you would know what order to read them in because there were four Superman books at the time and they all were telling one continuous story throughout all of them. So you had to have an extra little number to know what order to read them in. But yeah, that's a nice big uh, chunk of 90s and late 80s Superman books right here. I cannot wait to dive into this one. And that's it guys, another great haul, another fun week of comics. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, life is short, like what you like, ignore what you don't. Also, don't forget that if you need an LCS from which to order any of the books that you saw here or from which to pre-order books that are coming soon, you can visit infinityflux.net. You can order any of the books that you saw right here. As long as they are in stock, they'll be shipped right to you. Or you can look ahead to the future and pre-order books that are coming soon. You can set up a pull list. You can pick whichever covers you want. And then when those books are released, they will be shipped right to you. And if you do that, you get 10% off of your order. And if you use the promo code BUMPKINS, you get an additional 10% off your order. That is a one-time use code. It does not expire. So you can use it today or next week or the week after. And yeah, use the promo code BUMPKINS for an additional 10% off. Again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and stitch, and share, and remix, and ring bells, and smash buttons, and duet, and add to your story, and repost. 
and tell your neighbors and write an article about it and post it in your local paper and whatever else you got to do on whatever platform you're watching this on for more videos about these books throughout the week.